Subscriber shout out.
Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back. Big thanks to the algorithm today. Thank you very much for hindering and uh, suffocating. Appreciate that. Awesome. What's up everybody? Good to see you all here. Welcome back to some uh, tourist bus simulator. Absolutely. Basically, you like Roblox more than Fortnite? Oof. Oh boy. Some shots are being fired in chat tonight. Oof. That's heavy. What's up, Luke? What's up, Extremely? Richard, how's it going, man? Good to see you all here. YouTube's been uh, fiddling around with some stuff this week, and they kind of just made an announcement about what they were doing, so don't expect a lot of people to be here. It's all part of uh, making things better. Okay. Good to have you all with me. What's up? We're going to play more of Tours Bus Sim. I actually uh, like this game a little bit more than I should. Last time, oh boy, it was a mess. And today, it's going to be... Uh, I guess about the same. We'll see. <laughs> What's up? All right, the game's not popping up here on the screen. Let me make sure that actually works. It should. Ba -ba -ba. Let me try something. There we go. Perfect. Sometimes it takes a little poking and prodding. All right, let's get into it then and drive our bus. Richard, thank you very much for being here. Again, if you're new here, go ahead and click or tap that subscribe button. And uh, welcome to everybody. If you want to see more of this, click or tap that uh, like button too, so that way I know. And we'll get everything sorted out here today. All right, fantastic. Okay, so I forget where we left off last time. We were going to, uh, what's up, Annalie? I forget exactly what our objective was. Oh, wait, that's right. We're going to go buy, like, a, wait, open the map. Start motor with E. What? Wait, they want me to open the map. Where's the map? Uh, let's see. Uh, I already did send a notification, Pinto. It's just a um, it's just an algorithm thing today. I don't know. What is that noise? Sounds like the car is flooring it, but I don't have my foot on the pedal. Is that how the engine actually sounds? Anonymous, thanks for subscribing. Well, the in that's strange. Oh, it's not recognizing my steering wheel being plugged in. Let me, uh, that might be why. Uh, let's see, currently disabled. Settings. Controls. Seems that one of your devices would... Re please reset the device if this does not help. Restart the game or the computer? What? Hold on. Alright, let's see. Alright, apparently the steering wheel wasn't recognized. Which is strange because it was all set up and ready to go last time and then uh, I plugged it in ahead of time so it should be fine. Uh, found devices. Alright, let's try that again. Oh, there it goes. Okay, now let's see if that works. There we go. Yay! All right, so let's see. Do, 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 do. So, like, we can go to the gym and stuff. I don't know what the point of all the gym... Like, there's a gym and a restaurant and all this stuff. I don't know if there's, like, a storyline to this game outside of managing a tourist bus company, so I have no idea what's going on. Hi, Shrikey Poo. Uh, oh, also, we're supposed to just open the map. So, like, how do I just, quote, open the map? Settings, load, save. How do I just open the map? Get out of this guy's way. The expansion. Open the map. Well, what do you mean open the map? How do I open the map? Calendar, scheduling, orders. Uh, oh, workshop, mods, uh, settings. Is there a button for open? Let's see. Controls, open the map. Let's see. Smartphone. Oh, toggle world map M. Okay. There we go. So set a waypoint by clicking. Okay. Holy crap. This map is huge. Somebody was saying the other day that is small, but this is this is a gargantuan map, man. Oh, is that where we're driving to? The Ah, oh, the industrial estate. Ah, oh, yeah. All right. Let's go. All right. Note to self. 
the car is way harder to drive than the bus because the moment you let off the accelerator for the car it just you know how it is like you let off the gas a little bit and it's like uh being in a dragster when the parachute deploys behind the uh the, the drag strip racer and you try to come to a full stop the moment you just let off the, the gas a little bit weird yeah i wanted to give this game another try because uh oh wow this is a lot different than the bus i'm actually starting to like this game the first time it was like a little a little difficult but it's all good now actually let me turn on my lights in the car so i can there we go At least the side view mirrors work. A lot of games just don't even put in side view mirrors. That's weird. Alright, past the airport we go, yay. Hi there, Michael. Yeah, it was M to bring up the map. I guess it makes sense, but it'd be nice if you could... Uh, I don't know if there's a way to toggle on the mini-map in the lower right corner, which is kind of weird because... The GPS is there too, so I don't know if there's a way to toggle that off. I get it's nice to have it on in the bus because there's not a GPS in the bus, but in the car. I'm getting a little better driving now. This is so different than ATS though. Which country is this set in? It's like a fictional South American island or something. Everything's in Spanish, so I'm assuming it's around like Caribbean or Something like that. It's kind of a dead island, though. There's not. It's kind of like a dusty, dirty island, and there's not a lot of jungle or trees for whatever reason. Also, what button was cruise control? Is this it? No. Oh. Do I have to reset all my buttons again? I surely like driving around these algorithms. Uh, the, uh, all the roundabout. Ooh, what was that? Casino Octario. I wonder if that's an actual... Oh, can we go gamble our budget away? That'd be sweet. Go win a million dollars from our bus company. Hopefully there's a real casino there. You went, you went here on holiday? Hi there, Princess Bot. How's it going? Alright, this is actually a satisfying driving simulator right now. The fact that they gave us a uh, reason to drive the car again is cool. It's almost a, a little bit like, um... It's a little bit like, uh... My Summer Car. Oh, that's what it feels like when you're driving. It's more like My Summer Car. Oh, I hate driving in that game, but it's so fun. Oh, man. What am I playing now? I have no idea, dude. I'd have to check the title, but I'm too busy driving my car. I think you get speeding tickets and stuff in this game, but I don't know. Wow, tap the brake a little bit, and it's like immediate stop. Very sensitive driving in this game. Yeah, this is a Battle Bus Simulator. We're uh, actually going to pick up the Battle Bus right now for Fortnite. Go pick up Ninja and Will Smith. We're going to have a great time. I'm sure it'll get a lot of likes. Do, 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 do. Uh oh, itchy ear. Okay, there we're, we're good. Crisis averted. Now, we could be listening to music in this game, but remember, it's all copyright and everything like that. Last time I got in trouble, so thanks again for clicking and tapping that join button and clicking and tapping that uh, super chat button because the last video that I got got all demonetized because, like, I don't know, one one Jimmy Buffett song played for four seconds on the radio, and now Jimmy owns the uh, entirety of my uh, performance. So thank you for the enslavement, Mr. Buffett. Actually, it's not even Jimmy Buffett. It's more like Universal Music Group, but you know how it is. A fly so far as passes by your microphone, and it sounds like a uh, share song. And There you go. What do I want for Christmas? Um, like, in actuality, probably just some, like pajama pants. I love getting pajama pants around Christmas. It's always comfortable to wear. You know what I mean? Does this have multiplayer? I don't think so. 
I don't know if this would be a good multi multiplayer game. Oh, that was a huge jump. <laughs> I'm surprised we didn't leave the road. So what is this expansion over here? Are we going to buy like another... I wonder what we're going to buy, like a, a repair area for our buses or something like that? Or I wish we could clean this car. This car is so filthy, man. This is a super satisfying simulator right now for driving, though. Go car, go, go. Jeez, you pedal to the metal and the car just... Transmission, like, drops out of it. Open up a drop box so you can send me PJs. What? Oh, you mean a P.O. box. I think you mean a P.O. box. Oh, wow. Garage Wars. What the hell is this? Open every day, 24 hours. What is this? Am I going to do Storage Wars or something? Well, this is weird. What is going on in here? Uh, park in the yard and exit the vehicle. Okay. Oh, we're going to go in there. Ooh. What's this place all about? Go to the garage hall office. Okay. Hello? What? Oh, left click. To expand your fleet, you have to buy a garage hall. If you've made enough money, you can expand these garage halls here. You do not have enough money. The price is 250000 You made me drive all the way out here, so that way I... Okay. Click on the fast travel button in the upper right corner. Ooh, there's fast travel. Nice. Click on PewDiePie's chair, and during the game, you can receive skill points. Okay, roger that. So now we can fast travel back to the house. That's cool. Uh, where's our base? Oh, it's here. Fast travel. Ah, so once you've discovered a place, then you can go there. Oh, that's how it works. Yes. Oh, that's nice. That's a good feature. Uh, do I still play American Trucking Sim? So right now we just happen to be... No, dude. Totally abandoned it. Get in your car. Oh, we got to go in the car again? Oh, it's behind the bus. You subscribed? Wonderful. Well, anybody who wants to subscribe here today, your name will pop up on the screen. So welcome to everybody. Drive to Antigua. Okay. Wow, you got to floor it just to get the car to move. That's really, really weird. I think, I wonder if they're trying to simulate, like, dirt, but that's just a dirt lot. You don't need to, like, floor it to pull out of a dirt lot. really messes with my brain seeing the GPS stacked on top of the GPS. It's really weird. I'm not even... T to come to a stop like that, I don't even have to touch the brake. I just let go of the gas. It's so funky. Alright, 50 mile, fifty kilometers now. Oh, the black car is just the same as this one, with just a different paint job. Crap. Argy, thanks for subscribing. Okay, well this is nice and smooth now. I like driving on these roads. This is chill. Nope. Never mind. This game is Trinidad and Trabago? It could be. I mean, I don't know. 
It's like a little bit of everything from South America. It feels like we're kind of like in the Andes right now or something. It's almost like playing American Truck Simulator. Just in a car. Getting a little more used to the driving. I like this. Flying now on this highway, dude. Oh, there goes that McDonald's again. Wonder if you can actually eat there. Doesn't look like there's an icon for it on the map. What speed are we going at? About 100 kilometers. I think the speed limit's 90, but. All I got to do is basically let off the gas and deploy the immediate reverse thrusters. Is my chair comfy? Yeah. It's kind of why I like this chair the most is because it's really nice to sit in when you're playing a driving game. It's pretty comfortable. All right, where are we going now? Looks like there's a lock on the map. Ah, here we are, Antigua. Uh, I think they want me to do a lap around and then come back. Trey Potts, thanks for subscribing. Your mom just ordered one for Christmas. What, like one of these chairs? Oh, your mom is elite gamer, Harry? Dude, you gotta get on her level. She's gonna be like killing you in Counter-Strike, bro. We come here. Just wants me to drive around the block, I guess. Okay. Next mission, drive to the next town and circle the block and come back. Okay. Okay, game. Seems like there's something locked up here. What is, oh, this maybe this is a new uh, house or something for us. Oh, there we go. Apartment. Park the, park the car where? Over here. Wait, over here? In the fenced area or... Where do you... Park in the yard and exit the vehicle. I'm just going to pull over and walk around. I've, there's no indicator where they want me to go. I'm just going to pull over here. Go to the house. Oh, up here. The game literally wouldn't let me walk on the sidewalk. That's great. Oh, so they wanted me to like park either here or over there, maybe. Oh, dude, can we ride... Oh, can we ride a motorcycle? That'd be cool. Go into the house. Which door? Here? Here? How do I get inside? Ah, oh, maybe here. No. <laughs> Back door? Oh, up top. Okay. Oh, I see. Uh, let's see. If you see the symbol on the map, you've discovered an apartment. Now click buy. What? We don't have any money. Enter the apartment. Ooh. Wow, you can act there's a lot to do in this game. I thought you'd just be driving people around, but actually, like, you get out of your car, you can go into buildings. Do we actually get to decorate and stuff? This is crazy. Change wallpaper? What? Th there's actually more to do in this game than I thought. The first time I played it, I was just like, oh, this is not going to be fun. But look at this. We can actually change the wall tile. We can put a, a shelf in the bathroom? Ooh, office chair. You need to locate hardware store to... Oh, wow. You can actually customize your house. Dude, there's a lot more to do in this game than I ever thought. That's cool. Change ceiling lamp. <laughs> wow. All right, well, that's cool. You can actually do something with your money other than manage vehicles. There's food you have to buy and stuff. Scrappy-looking apartment. Yeah, but this is cool because then we can actually upgrade it. So now we got a little bit of house flipper going on here. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, you have new skill points. Open it via your smartphone. Uh, click on this button to bring up skill points. Okay. Let's see. Fast travel point. Oh, you can unlock fast travel points. Okay, that's helpful. Uh, let's see. 
do, uh, I guess this will have to be our fast travel point for now. How do I spend skill points? Oh, I see. These are... Wait, are we buying bus stops? Uh, oh, I see. We can do a fast travel. Um, so we have to have, have an H in order to use a, a fast travel. Didn't I literally drive past these two? Yeah, I, I, passed, I passed by these two here. What's up, Gintz TV? Good to see you here. Uh, I guess I'm just going to pick the one at the airport because we typically come over here anyway, so I guess I'll just accept that one. Now you've completed the basics to earn enough money to purchase extra bus to support your staff. Okay, cool. Tourist bus 101 has been completed, yay. All right, well, there is a lot more to this game than I thought, and that is really cool because I, I literally thought you would just be driving a bus around the whole time for money, but the fact that you can buy properties and customize them and like buy food and do other things is kind of cool. Now there's actually a reason to have some more money. Look at the taillights of the car. You see how they were like hovering? That's hilarious. Looks like it can be any symbol. It looked like it only let me do the ones that were highlighted in orange. But whatever. We'll probably be going to the uh, we'll probably be going to the airport a lot. So I guess now we'll just head back to this uh, base and see if we can start a new contract. Something is locked stash. Maybe we can do some illegal activity later. Right, let's head back to the office. Uh, fast travel, go. Well, that's kind of nice that you can fast travel. That's really fun. Do, 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 do. Nice colors here. Hi, chat. How's it going? How is everybody? If you're new here, click or tap that subscribe button. Welcome to you all. Your name should pop up, of course, for being an awesome supporter. So thanks, bros. Appreciate it. All right, let's get ourselves a new job. Where is our... Oh, this building is so tiny. Can we go in through the back door? Nice. What's up, Anthony? How's it going, man? This is really cool. The fact that we can customize is so nice. I like that. I wish we could do it here. All right, let's find a new job. Uh, let's see. Oh. This will need some maintenance soon. Oh, yeah, that's right. To get jobs, we have to go over to the other thing. Current orders, new order... Line 102. Wait, is this like infinite? Current orders. Wait a minute, let me t take a look at the schedule. Trip services. Oh, we got Hilda on this. So we should just make money automatically? Dark Ark, thanks for subscribing. So what we need to do then is buy a bus. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. Um, I guess we can go here to buy oh yeah vehicles here okay second hand vehicles so we need like 98,000 to do this for like the lion's coach okay let's have a couple of days pass so that way our employee makes some money then we'll buy another bus and we'll have two buses running and we can make even more cash so let's wait like let's wait till Saturday Bus driver needs a vehicle. Do you want to return? Needs a vehicle for an order. Yeah, go ahead. Okay, that should have made us a bu bunch of money now. What? Why do we only have 56,000? You shouldn't. Subscriber shout out. Extremely. Thank you for subscribing. Is there a way to take out a loan? Uh, let's see. Workshop, new vehicles. Wow, look at new vehicles, 300,000. Jeez. Cheapest we can afford is 98,000. Wow, I wish I hadn't bought the house that I was forced to buy. Current orders. Yeah, this is just an infinite order that should give us... Oh, it's 504 euros each time. Oh, boy. We gotta do something that's big. We gotta take, like, this job. But we don't have an extra bus for it. I can only do one job without... I'd have to cancel that other job then. Can we do that? Uh, cancel. Oh, there we go. Do you want to cancel this order? F a penalty? Well, that's dumb. I'm looking to make money. Well, actually, wait a minute. At this pace, it would be 2,000 times... 
What do we need? 90,000? So it'd have to be like three months of work. Oh my goodness. Um, I, wait, is she not? Wait, can she not? Why, wait, why can't she do that? You have to drive each route. Oh, you have to drive a route once before you can assign it to an employee. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right, well, this will make us a lot more money now. So let's do that. And then when is that taking place? Uh, when is that? Well, oh, yeah, it should be on schedule. Uh, trip services, that takes place on the, six, the 18th. What day is it? 16. Okay, so now we got to change to the 18th. And now we can take this uh, bus forever. And ever, ever, forever, ever. Okay. Um... All right, let's take this bus out. Okay, so we've done horribly before with our bus. Now, finally, this time, I'm going to try to do a little better. I'm a little bit more familiar with it, and things seem to be a little bit more uh, understandable. So uh, let's go ahead and close the front door. And lock. Oh, shouldn't that turn on when it's locked? Okay. Oh, maybe it's because the bus isn't even on. Let's turn the bus on. Oh, you have to first activate the display? Oh, that's dumb. <laughs> Before you can turn the bus on, you have to turn the display on. That's stupid. I like the game, too. It says start ignition with E, but it doesn't work. Okay, so it's in neutral. And I'm holding E and nothing's happening. Holding E again. Holding the motor start button. What could, what could possibly be stopping the uh, bus from working? Start ignition with E or special game gamepad special right. Do I have a hotkey for engine start? Let's see. Radio jump. Oh, wait. Uh, man's line bus. Gas brake. Turn camera. Engine start. E or gamepad special right. What the heck is it? special gamepad right? I don't even have that. Let me see if I can hit a button to do that. Press any key. Okay, let's see if that works. Oh, it says none now. Okay. Do we have fuel? Well, we should. I mean, we. I don't even think we can fuel the bus up, to be honest. Mick, thanks for seven. All right, when I press the button, it doesn't work. Start ignition with E. Well, I mean, we can check the fuel gauge, but I don't. I don't think that's a factor. Uh, fuel. Well, I guess it's everything's all the way to the left because the car it's literally not on. So. What does the radio sound like? Like a radio. The game is frustrating. The game is telling me to start engine, hold E. That's either this button here. Now it goes? We, we did that like a hundred times. Weird. Oh, uh, let's turn on the air conditioning for the passengers. Uh, there we are. And we'll set it down to... Nice 21. All right, ready, go. Wait, don't we have to, uh, hold on, before we go. Okay, and then I think we have to throw it in gear, right? Ah, oh, there it goes. Perfect. All right, let's roll around. Oof, this bus is, a, that is a tight turn. I'm liking this game, man. There's a, a little bit more you have to do than I thought of. We have to customize our own apartment. I think we can go work out over there at the gym. I think there's more to this game than just being like a mindless... It's it's not a mindless simulator where you're just like... Like ATS, just whole job. Like, there's a little bit more about taking care of yourself and your staff. So that's kind of cool. Oh, Jesus. Whoa, 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 sir! 
situation. I have no idea how you're supposed to get around these turns without going into the opposite lane. Luckily, that didn't cost any money. Also, the first time somebody's ever uh, come around and uh, bumped into us. I guess we're supposed to kind of wait. This game would be good with track IR. Whew. Luckily, we didn't get in trouble for that one, so it doesn't count. <laughs> All right, let's. I think we're going to the airport now, aren't we? So let's throw the lights on, too, so I can see the interior. There we go. I didn't run the stop sign. I just couldn't... Uh, it's not the stop sign that's the problem. It's getting around a very narrow 90-degree turn. That's where the trouble comes in. Oh yeah, we're going to the airport. Good. You know what would be funny is if we could fast travel on the bus route. That'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? Now wait a minute. Yeah, exactly. In the bus, when you let off the accelerator, no braking whatsoever. But in the car, the controls are horrible. I was letting go of the gas to see if it would actually slow down and it doesn't. The bus drives more realistically than the car does and that's mind-boggling to me. Why is it easier to drive a bus than it is a car? Or at least in terms of accelerating and braking. Jeez. Alright, I think I got my legs under me now. We should be fine. Well, again, if you guys haven't already, make sure you go ahead and click or tap that uh, subscribe button and uh, go ahead and click or tap that like button if you're here. And Rachel, thank you very much for subscribing. Nice. Well, the the bus is much easier to drive with, or it's it's easier to accelerate and slow. But no, it's easier to uh, accelerate with the bus, and stopping is more realistic. But in the car, it's I don't know, it's it's a different it's a whole different world with that car. I don't I don't like that car. And I'm assuming the other one drives the same because they're both the same vehicle. It's just a different skin for the developers. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, nice. There's a casino there. Cool. That's kind of cool. do maintenance on this bus eventually too. I wonder what that's like. There we go. I've certainly got the hang of driving a bus a little bit more now on these uh, highways and such. It's still tricky in a town, but that's cool. These are some awesome, challenging roads. Dude, this is sweet. This is really awesome, dude. Love this. Man, I wish you could drive like this in the ATS. That's what I'm talking about. Love this. This is great. challenging roads now. Dude, this is awesome. Ooh, careful, careful. Ooh. And now all the traffic comes out too now that we're on a 
It wasn't in the city streets, but boy, it's on some of these really tight roads. Look at that turn. Woo! Boy, that is crazy. Wow. Wow, these are some challenging roads. I like this. Now this is awesome. Oh good, we've unlocked the beach now. Man, these roads are crazy. Man, bringing passengers back on this road is going to have to be a little, uh, we're going to have to be real careful on these roads. This is nice. This is exactly what I wanted, actually. Uh, is a, uh, you know, like, city bus simulator is fun, but you're making a lot of stops, and this is kind of like a truck, this is more like ATS, except with a lot more challenging roads. This is what I really liked, is a, a road with some good character. This is awesome. I like this. Oh, Jesus, did you see that? Did you see that car? Holy. <laughs> Dude, that car just went flying right up over the road. That was awesome. Wow, people are just like killing it on this road. This is great. That's hilarious. That guy literally left the ground. That was awesome. That was hilarious. Now I kind of want to take this uh, road with the uh, with the car. Actually, there's a buggy we can unlock if we get enough parts. That's another thing we can put our money into is unlocking a buggy. And I wonder if we can drive off-road. That'd be cool. To explore the whole island off-road. Awesome. This is insane. I like this game now. It was a rocky start last time with the radio and everything else, but this road is just nice. The elevation and the uh, hills and bumps and roads and turns and twists here is nice. Oh, come on. I want to see a car like leave the road. This is great. I wonder if we're going to drive through a volcano. Beautiful ocean. That's cool. I wonder why people come to this island, though. There's not really... It's not like a beautiful island paradise. Although, I mean, that's probably how they would market it. Visit beautiful... Whatever the name of this place is. Where we have a tree. A bunch of rocks. And now introducing our first Arby's. That'd be awesome. Gotta get an Arby's here. I want to drive through a volcano. Whoa, what the? Now we're like in a, a desert of some sort? This is crazy, this map. You know what I want to do now is, I wish there was a mod for this game where you could do more than busing. Imagine driving a truck on this, on this map. That would be just incredible. They probably wouldn't let you drive an 18-wheeler tractor trailer, but it would still be cool to drive other vehicles. I bet they'll let you do that eventually. All these cars pulled over. People are checking out the... Natural beauty of the island. Oh, that looks like a big hotel. I wonder if there's a... Uh, yeah, it's like 4 o'clock right now. I wonder if there's a day-night cycle. Weird way to park cars, too, by the way. Some people are, like, backing up to somebody else's car. You like the vids? Well, thank you, Red. I appreciate that. Whoa. Man, it, like, sometimes you're not even going that fast, and the next it's just, like, too fast. Like, hairpin turns and stuff. 
guess the infrequent lag doesn't help either. All right, now we're in town. Now we can pick up our passengers. Taking a left here. Oof, that was a good turn. Nice job. Jeez, I hope we don't hit that tree. I'm going to take it wide just in case. Did we hear? Did we seriously hit that tree? Was that a thing? Can you hit the tree? I took it wide. That keep the trees away from the road, city government. Jeez, I shouldn't have to go into the opposite lane because my vehicle is tall. Jeez, I don't know if it did or not, or if it's just the bumpiness of the road. Because my, uh, you can actually see there's potholes and stuff now. It's triggering my force feedback on my controller. All right, Aqua Water Park. Or uh, aqua, aqua, aqua. Dude, this game right now has just suddenly become my new favorite game. I like this. I was really just frustrated as heck at it at the start, and I'm glad I gave it a chance. Okay, let's put on the parking brake and uh, let's pick up our passengers. Unlock doors. Run. All right, come on board, everybody. Ma'am? Ah, I see, so we're picking up passengers uh, from the water park, and then we're probably going to take them to, like, a hotel. Right, let's get moving. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Wow, that is cool. I can't even look around with my mouse. That's weird. I couldn't even look if traffic was coming. Hopefully this road isn't as uh, nightmarish as the last one. But it looks like we got to cross some pretty open desert for a while. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, could you be any worse? Could you be any more negative, Paradise Brother123? Maybe uh, shape up a little bit and uh, be a positive person? Man, a lot of you guys are just rude and criticizing all the time in chat. Relax. We're on an island paradise. We're on vacation. Enjoy the stream. That's why we're here. No, you'll be you'll be playing to my level of satisfaction, YouTuber. Uh, no. You used to have this game, but uh, lack of memory, so you got rid of it. What do you mean the game just came out? You might be thinking of a different game. Oh, that's cool. You can see where they were doing some construction to kind of connect to the roundabout. That's really neat. Thanks, Doctor. Appreciate that. Hey, I'm having a fun time, like you're supposed to in a video game, this, and it's challenging, and there's a lot more to this game than I thought. I really like this. Like the fact that you can buy a house and modify it, that you can buy food, and that there's more to do than just like buy a, you know, there's more to, to the game than just earning money to buy buses, that kind of thing. Like, that's what I was expecting, but this is a pleasant surprise. Although there's some problems, like uh, occasional lag with the game. Like you can see on occasion where the game will kind of like briefly freeze for a second, which makes it difficult to drive. A little more challenging, but not impossible. But it's all good. Yeah, the map is beautiful. Actually, there we go. We're, we're finally starting to see some, uh, I wouldn't say wildlife, but some uh, not death. Like a couple of bushes here and there. So we'll see. Joshua, thanks for subscribing. Appreciate that. Uh, well, you do actually, Paradise. Otherwise, your ass will be out of chat. So either relax or uh, hop out. Otherwise, one of our wonderful moderators will make sure that you uh, see the door. Another nice little restaurant there. Beautiful. Man, I don't think I can make this.
this turn. Oof. I think we're fine. <laughs> I think I bumped that car. So turning into some of these uh, very narrow streets at 90 degrees like that is a huge challenge. That is something I'm going to have to practice with every, uh, with every little experience. Never driven a bus before, but man, I'm liking this. Well, not in real life, but... Also, I'm wondering, you have to let... Like, there's a way to open the, uh, the baggage, you know, the baggage compartments for passengers, so I'm wondering if, uh... I'm wondering if, like, you, you can do that. Like, get out of the bus and... And do that kind of thing. Alright, I think everybody's on the bus. Let's go. Yay! Yeah, Alright, let's keep on rolling. Alright, and we'll say goodbye, everybody. Go ahead and uh, wave now to uh, Paradise uh, Brother123. Go ahead and wave, everybody. We'll be seeing, seeing you later. Uh, take care, have a good life. Uh, try being a little bit more positive. It'll make all the difference. And thank you, Christopher Pinto, for the big kill. And uh, Chad, what do you think about that? What do you think about getting rid of Paradise? Some of those turns look almost impossible. Yeah, it's funny because, like, some of these missions are, like, initial um, starting missions. You know, like, these are supposed to be, uh, you know, the easy start. Hold on a second. Yeah, I'll fix that pinto there. Yeah, guys, go ahead and put your round of applause in chat. A couple of rips in chat, too, for some of you uh, supporters. Chris Pinto, you got your rips in there. You can go ahead and rip them. Yeah, that's unfortunate. F for respect. Well, I don't know. I mean, you know, plenty of people play games all day. But it's some of those people, too, who will come in and just be negative, and then you're like, hey, man, chill out, enjoy with us. And they're like, no, I'll be doubling down now on my hatred. It's like, all right, we'll see you later, dude. Have a good life. Well, if you guys are seeing, uh, or if you're enjoying what you're seeing, make sure you click or tap that like button, too, to let me know you'd like to see more of uh, Tourist Bus Simulator. This game actually is a lot more fun than I thought it would be, which is why we're streaming again. I'd like to do recording recordings on this, but this is way more fun. Have I ever played Minecraft and Fortnite? Yes. You broke the like button? Well, thank you. Doing great for the first time driving a bus? Well, it's not my first time, like, driving a bus in a game. Um, I've never driven a bus in real life, and I've driven many other bus games, but every game is a little different. But I'm getting used to this one more and more. I'm def you should go watch the first time that I played, because that was way different. Although, it's kind of strange. Um, you can't, like, look around at a stop sign. Like, I can't... Oh, you gotta click. I gotcha. Alright, let's go. Alright, well, I'm having a good time. And I'm thankful you're all here, so welcome, everybody. Alright, looks like we're gonna circle back around and come come to the right side on this one. Yeah, I don't know how you're supposed to take these turns other than going into the opposite lane. Because if you're, uh, if you stay in your lane, you're just going to end up hitting a tree. Does this support VR? I bet you it supports, um, I bet it supports track IR. I'm going to scoot a little bit more over to the right side. There we go. Well, things are getting better and better as we're going on here. Whoa, 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 what the... I'm literally in the middle of the road. What did I actually hit? Well, that couldn't have been a curb. Because no bus goes like 90 degrees on a curb. That was weird. Are you kidding me? Like, I was too, I was too close to the building on the right side, so now I've got to make this crazy turn. Wow. There is a lot that they do not prepare you for in this game. Now nah, you can't hit people in this game. If you do, they just it kind of pushes them out of the way. So there's no uh, possibility to hit a pedestrian, at least at the moment. Yeah, it's okay. The turns are definitely not easy. But we'll get better with practice. <sighs> All right. 
Yeah, in the previous bus simulator game we would play, sometimes at random people would uh, walk out in front of the uh, bus and stuff like that. Like you'd be getting ready to pull into a, a bus stop and then people would just randomly just walk out in front of your bus. Like, you, you'd be pulling in and someone would just like step out into the road and then you'd get a huge fine for it and it's like, well, that's not how that works, but okay. So I guess my new biggest challenge is to uh, stay away from uh, buildings and try to now deal with inner city driving. I've seemed to have mastered everything except for driving in some narrow roads and making 90 degree turns. Not mastered, but I've definitely made some improvement. So we shall do that in time. Alright, Harry, thanks for joining. Whoops. Oh, is that my cruise control button? Wait, what was that? I'll have to find out what my cruise control button is again. Oof, these are turns. These are some turns. The draw distance seems a little short on this game. I can't wait till we get to actually go and explore some sites. Like, you can get out of the bus and go walking in caves and things like that. It's kind of cool. And when we're done with this job, we can just fast forward time to be, like, really fast. So that way our uh, fellow employee can uh, take the job for us and just make a bunch of money quickly so that way we can buy another bus and do our own jobs while making more cash. Alright, we're going to Tin Tindaya now. You gotta take these turns with like no car there. It's the only way. Canary Islands? It could be. Alright. Ah. <sighs> Yeah, you can't do that in Euro Truck. You can't get out of the bus. This game, this game's got some charm to it, despite it having some problems. But I guess no games. It's better than Fallout 76. Got him. There we go. All right, let's keep on trucking. Look up, driver. There we go. road is rough. It's like patches and potholes sticking out from the center of the roadway. Seems like we're circling around now. Oof, that was close. Some cars are speeding, yeah, just like real life. Now, I don't know what the GPS wants me to do. Do you want me to take another right, or what? I'm going to have to take a look at the map. Wait, what? Oh, they want me to go up, back around, and then stop at the other side of the street. That is confusing. Good thing I looked at the map. <laughs> you see that woman just jump over the uh, street lamp? That's great. Too 
much of a pain to actually look. Yeah, there seems to be no other way than just going out into the opposite lane of traffic to make the turn. What happens if you pr crash into a person or car? So it seems like you get some damage to the bus that has to be repaired later. But the biggest thing is if you have passengers, you, you make less money from the uh, contract. So it's a good idea to keep her on the keep her on the road. Oh yeah, your family has a villa in uh, Future F Future Ventura, or F whatever this place is called. Okay, starting to get a little better on these city streets. supposed to stop on the opposite side of the street. That just seems like such a waste. It's easier for people to just to cross the street than to pick up one person. So you could have just came across. Hi there, Atlas. Okay, let's open up the doors. If anybody gets off, I'm going to be, I'm going to laugh because we literally just went across the street, but this is what we we're told to do. Fort Aventura? Okay. I like this game, though. Uh, it doesn't seem like it has any visual effects on damage, no. But the bus does get dirty. I don't know if that's just how they defaulted the bus to be, or if there's a way you can clean the bus. I don't know what the, uh, I don't know what the plan is on that. Looks like there's a little bit of traffic here. Well, this is great. Again, for those of you watching right now, make sure you click or tap that uh, subscribe button to have your name pop up here if you want to see more uh, American Truck Simulator, Farming Simulator, or this, Tourist Bus Simulator. Make sure you go ahead and do that. Appreciate everybody being here today. You are all awesome. Sir, stay back. There we go. Red, thanks for seven. That's the only way you can complete those turns. I mean, these, this bus is too huge for these narrow streets like this. Good thing that guy gave us a little clearance. All right, goodbye to Tindaya. And now I think we're heading back on our mountain roads. Jacob. Oop, wait a minute, missed the turn. Alright kids, this is going to be a rough day. Don't worry, we're a bus, we can do this. Yeah, I have an Instagram. Check down below in the description. There we go. We're good. Actually, to be honest, I wonder if we can do any off-roading. Can we actually go off-road a little bit? Oh, we can. I didn't know if the game would let you do that. That's kind of a cool test. All right. Well, this is the right way, I guess. It is still very weird to have a GPS down in the lower right corner on the bus, but then also it pops up there in the right corner of the screen. I wish there was a way to like to get rid of that so I could read it a little, a little easier. It's kind of weird having two maps on top of each other. That doesn't make it easier to read at all. All right, now we get to go back on our challenging route, so hopefully this will be fun. Man, this 
road is just the ultimate challenge. I love it. How many passengers can you hold on the bus? I don't know actually what the capacity of the... This is the um, Man Coach C bus. So I don't know. But I would assume it's two on I either side of the bus. Times like... That's probably like 30, 30 passengers or so. Whoa, sir, that was really close. All right, we're supposed to stop here. All right, let's try that. Holds 56 people. All right. Good enough to me. Oh, this is going to be an interesting turn. We got to go uh, away from the bus stop and then down this road. Dude, are you kidding me? Ooh. Wow, dude. That is, uh, that was close. I still feel like the steering wheel on this bus is a little small. you drive in front of certain automatic doors they start to open there's n there's no way I can make it down these streets without coming to a complete stop I don't know how you're supposed to get around these turns with traffic there I'm gonna have to learn how to do that it's just kind of impossible because I have to gobble up a little bit of the other lane oh we can get gas look at that there's a gas station there dude nice I guess we can fuel up the bus, but I think in between jobs it automatically gets refueled, so that's kind of cool. I wonder what kinds of fuel we can have, if it's just diesel buses or if we can get compressed natural gas or whatnot. Yet Relevant, thanks for subscribing and being here, everybody. How you doing? Well, for this game being as uh, challenging as, as it is, I'm really doing a lot better than I did last time, and I'm having a ton of fun now. Is that a train line? Oh, that's a wall next to us. Cool. The Yaras is up next. The camera has to like look down while I'm coming to a stop. That doesn't make it e any easier to stop. Thanks again to uh, Sean Mil Maluka for clicking and tapping that join button today too. If you guys ever want to join me in a game, want access to emotes, and just be uh, a lit and dank bro, make sure you go ahead and click or tap that join button. Thanks to everybody for their support. A lot of these videos get, you know, demonetized and hidden. YouTube does not want you to see this stuff. They don't want you subbing to people you like. They want T-Series to win. So make sure you, uh, make sure you support independent creators all over. How do 
I... Ah, there we are. It looks like everybody's off. You want this game? It is fun. There's something... There's some, like, weirdness to it, but it's not bad, actually. There we go. Also, th I don't know if this bus is getting dirtier or not. Seems like it may be. I'm not sure. Oh, we gotta turn off the parking brake. My bad. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, there's a surf school up here. Nice. I didn't go up on it. That's good. That was close. Uh, yeah, the uh, new Train Sim World update. I'll have to uh, apply for a key to get the uh, DLC for that one. I might play that one tomorrow. We'll do Farming Simulator on Saturday and Sunday. There's a new logging map coming out, so we'll probably do that Saturday and Sunday. And then I'll try to do Train Sim World tomorrow. Lots of simulators, lots of fun. goes from like 70 to 40 like right at the hairpin turn that is that doesn't make it easy all right at least we're still on the road well, at least everyone's getting whiplash in the back that's cool uh let's see uh win group on teamspeak did you need a microphone on teamspeak uh yeah discord and uh, teamspeak in order to speak with people you will need a microphone but you can all you can always like text you can always like type a message out too uh, but it's not required for you to hear other people either. Like, you don't need it for, uh... You don't need a microphone to hear other people. Boy. The biggest pain in this game is when you gotta go around a real tight turn. And that is just a pain. Yeah, I don't have the DLC yet, but we'll work on that tomorrow for, uh, Train Sim World. Now, look how laggy it gets sometimes. That doesn't make it easy to drive. I'm starting to get the hang of this more and more. I appreciate this game. I like it. It's definitely got its unique challenges. You can wash the bus, says Sean. Good. That's good confirmation. I, I'm assuming with this bus, by the time we wash it and, like, pull out onto the road, it's going to just be dirty great again. That's what I have a feeling about. Ooh, finally, a place with trees. Uh-oh. There we go. That was a good turn. Oh, nice, a little market or a restaurant here. Cool. All right, let's uh, open the doors. Woo! Nice. I think we can just drive back to HQ now. Or how does that work? I think we just drive back to the HQ. 
which is down here. I wonder if we can just fast travel there. Because now I'm done for the day. Sweet. Good, that saves time. Allows us to make more money. Good, 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 good. I like this. Uh, you live in the Netherlands, but there's like 0%. Yeah. Uh, so here's how it goes. Uh, I've recently... Uh, YouTube made an update where they've lowered the latency in YouTube. So we should be able to like communicate more immediately. So everybody get ready to type a word. And let's see how long the latency is. I'm going to I'm gonna tell everyone to type a letter. And then I want everyone to type it at the same time and see how quick the latency is. So let's type... On, uh, when I count to three, let's all type the letter A, and let's see how quick the latency is. So just get get ready to type A on your keyboard or your smartphone. You ready? Here we go. Don't do it in advance. Don't do it in advance. It's going to be cheating. One, two, three, A. Let's see how quickly that goes. Yeah, there you go. Pretty fast, huh? That was basically like two seconds. All right, let's get off the bus. Well, we got a lot of Fonzies in chat now. Hey! Can we wash the bus here? Where do we go to wash the bus? Dude, this bus is awesome. All right, let's go take another job now. Actually, we can put our employee on it. So now we should be able to just keep, keep raking in the funds. What does this do? Wait, what is this? Contracts? Oh, oh, for insurance and stuff. Wi-Fi services. Oh, that's cool. You can offer another thing to the passengers and it probably increases your rating. Okay, let's put the... Uh, what's her name on this now? What's her name? Hilda? Hilda, you're on the man bus, my, my lady. And I want you on there for an eternity. Alright, we're at 57,000. So we need to get to, like, what? 90,000 in order to get a new... In order to get a new bus so we need her to work on this for just probably about 22 years and then we should have everything paid off every day for like 20 years all right let's go to the end of the month and see what happens oh won't well, let me skip time oh you can only like skip a week at a time all right before we do that let's make sure she's set up on the scheduling perfect and that gets us nineteen hundred dollars a day so almost like two thousand dollars a day Washing the bu uh, bus might be under the workshop. Okay. I don't know if washing the bus gives us anything. Ah, for now, let's just skip time and see if she can bring in money. Do you want to return your vehicle? Yeah, you can take it. How much money do we have now? 63000 Okay, we need enough to buy a new bus. Which is going to be... I don't know. I wonder if a bus can break down. Why is oil change green? Does that mean it's due for an oil change? No, 6,000 kilometers. It's overdue for a tire change, V-belt change. How do I do some of these things? Oh, I guess we have to bring it into the, into the shop. Well, let's get enough to buy a new bus first. What's the one we want? Second-hand vehicle. 99,000, 96,000 for the Coach C. It's like about $95,000 that we need. So we'll just have her keep working so that way we can do it in tandem and make more money. Actually, let me see if there's any better contracts. Let's see. New orders. 17. That looks like we got the best one in town. All right. Let's go and switch time ahead. Andreas, thanks for subbing. Oh, Hilda had an accident. Awesome. We weren't insured, Hilda. Well, it's GG. <laughs> 74,000 now. Uh, okay, now I see the importance of insurance. Oh, she had an accident, but everything seems fine. Okay. Keep going, Hilda. You can do this. I believe in you. Let's go to the next month. Come on, bring in that money, Hilda. Okay. Hilda, come on now. You're starting to make me look good. Stop that. Okay, Hilda, you've gotten into three accidents. You can't be not happy with the salary, sweetheart. You plowed the bus into a wall three times. I can't I can't give you a raise, sweetie. That's not how it's going to work. Okay, let's see. 
try to buy a new bus, and then we'll get the other one pimped out. 97000 Perfect. Let's buy a new bus. Take some new contracts. Ooh, 85000 Oh, there are just new buses that become available all the time. Nice. Let's take this one that's got a little better shape to it. Nice. Wow, that one's at 93%. Oh, that's... Yeah. I think... Wait. Okay, this one needs oil change. Okay. Wow, really? They're going to sell me a car that needs... Uh, hmm. Ah, whatever. I us buy another bus now. Oh. Please collect your bus from the harbor. I got to go pick it up again? When was that? The 16th that they wanted that picked up? That's two days. All right. Oh, boy. How do I adjust Hilda's raise? How do I do employees? Uh, schedule. Maybe it's in my office. Employees. There we go. All right. Let's see. Hilda, you've had like 26 accidents. Julian, thanks for subscribing. Oh, we can hire a mechanic. Oh. Oh, wait. Job market. Oh, maybe I should hire a mechanic. we got two buses now that are kind of in need of work. Driver, mechanic. Here we go. Twelve hundred, a thousand. Whoop. There we go. Excellent negotiating skills. Oh, well, sorry. Too bad. Oh, there's guides, too? Oh, wow. Can these people... Oh, so a guide will, like, sit on the bus and, like, tell people about stuff. That's sweet. Oh. 950 there. We want it cheap, guys. We want it cheap. All right. So the co so the employee is working for us tomorrow. Good. Now we have a mechanic. Hilda. Let's see if we can get another uh, driver. Callie Miller. What does that number mean? What's Hilda at? Wait, what does the other guy want? He's at 950. Hilda, you can't be paid more than a diesel mechanic, sweetheart. That's not how it works. All right, we'll bring her up to 1,000. All right, now let's wait for the uh, new bus to get here. We'll go pick that up while Hilda continues the contract. Where's the... Uh oh, God. I'm trapped in the closet. There we go. Put a guide on the bus. We could. Does that bring? Does that really bring in a lot of money, though? Like I don't. I don't know what the importance of doing that would be. Like I don't. I don't know how beneficial that would be. Any more new orders? Oh, another infinite contract. That'll be perfect. But does it bring in a lot? A lot more money? Like I. I need to know how much if I'm going to justify the cost, especially when we don't have too many buses running at the moment. That's all right. We'll just do a taxi service for now. All right, let's do this. We'll go pick up the new car, the new bus. All right, so Hilda made some more money, hopefully. And then how is there a way to schedule vehicles for maintenance? How do we do that? Uh, let's see. Workshop. No vehicles available. Fleet. Okay, we could sell it. Components, indicators need repair, wipers, and body damages like a hundo. Oh, maybe that's why it looked dirty. Maybe it's more uh, something else. All right, let's see. How do I do maintenance then? Do I, do I literally have to pull the vehicle into the bay myself? Workshop, new vehicles are secondhand. All vehicles are currently in a workshop. Click this button. Wait, what was that? Click this button to select a vehicle as your current playable vehicle as it becomes available. Oh. Well, we have to go pick up this one, so I guess we got to go drive and pick up our new bus now. On the schedule selection, let's see. Nope, that's shuttle services. Oh, we would probably want a, uh, a guide on, like, a sightseeing tour. Okay. So right now we're just basically, like, doing kind of shuttling, kind of. Like, in independent shuttling. Trains, driver, and vehicle. I don't know how exactly we're supposed to schedule maintenance on that. I guess I'll go get... Albert Einstein, lols. I guess I'm going to go uh, pick up our new bus, and then we'll uh, figure out how to do maintenance. Go back to that screen. There's a tick box, really, for maintenance. Mm. 
Under what? Scheduling? Select driver, select vehicle. I think that's that's for drivers and stuff. I don't know. We'll figure it out when we get back. Let's go pick up our bus, and Hilda's probably already out driving. So we'll go get ourselves a new bus, and then the, uh, the other bus. Yeah, she's already left. I think all we have to do is just drive it in here, and then maybe once it's in this position, maybe we have to click on something in here. Bus repair. Oh, there we go. Tire change, component. Oh, repair. There we go. Body damage. Bus will be repaired until Friday at. Oh, my. Gee. All right, we're going to wait a little bit. We'll so we go in here to repair, and then our mechanic will do it for us automatically. That's how we order it. All right, let's go pick up our new bus, and then we'll. Once we have our new bus, we'll take the other one off the line, and we'll get them both repaired up and running fully, and then we'll uh, continue on with trucking. All right, let's go. All right, you guys want me to take this one? Oh, this vehicle will be unlocked at level 4. Okay. DPH, thanks for subscribing. Jeez, driving this car just makes me feel as if I've got, like, no power at all. This, this car is just as bad as driving. Than, uh, I am at the bus, I don't know. Hi, Ford Power, how's it going? Okay, so we're going to the port now. Irold, thanks for subscribing. We're going to the port to pick up our uh, our new bus. Boy, this is such a change driving between the bus and this car. This car sucks. It has such horrible, horrible, horrible acceleration. And the moment you let off the gas, it's like you're driving with flat tires. It just immediately comes to a stop. Driving this car is horrendous. I don't even want to come to a stop because you just got to like floor it for... F Seriously, it's like three seconds that it takes the car to even move. It's really strange. Hopefully the developers patch something like that. Alright, so we're going to go to the shipping dock and pick up our new bus, bring it back, and then find a new contract. Then we're going to drive that contract. And then get Hilda's bus repaired, and then we're going to... It should basically be nothing but profits after that, so that's kind of cool. I like this game, man. I like it. I just wish we could clean this car. Where do we go to clean our car? Does anyone know? Oh, airplane. Like, at this point, the car is so dirty that it actually impedes my ability to drive. It's hard to see in the side view mirror. Wait a minute. Where's the GPS set to? What? That's where our bus is? Oh boy, that is a long distance. Where are the car washes at? Oh, right there. So Costa Calma, nice. Wow, this is going to be a long drive, folks. Holy crap. That is a long way. Wow. Is this like a real island that they just turned into a city or something? Right, we got a long way to go, boys. Sit back and enjoy the ride. Thanks again for uh, clicking and tapping that join button, and thanks everyone for your super chats this week. You are all awesome, and thank you for liking as usual and just dropping by. Hopefully you're all having a pleasant week so far, and I appreciate everyone being here in chat. Well, it's going to take a little longer to pick up this bus than I thought. I thought it was just right down the road. Oh, it's one of the Canary Islands from Spain. Oh, really? It's a real place? I had no idea. Wow. I thought this was just a totally fictional place. Some people were saying, like, I have family there. And I'm like, oh, you're being funny. Cool. Like, nice, good immersion. But, wow, I had no idea. Do, 
town now. Jeez, the braking on this car is so not needed. Like literally, once you're under like 30 kilometers, if you let go of the gas, it's just like immediate stop. Uh, Takanawa, what's up? Good to see you back. Look at that, if I just let go of the gas. Like, look at that. Wow. Alright, leave it in Tigua now. You know what I just had a current thought for? And what I'm really excited for is the uh, new Lego movie coming out uh, next year. I'm looking forward to seeing that. That'll be fun. And not dying. That's also enjoyable. Sorry, I had to take my hand off the wheel. Boy, in these games, if you, like, look at chat for a brief second, or if, like, you take your hand off the wheel to do something, you are dead. D-E-D -E -D dead. Woo. Wow, we're just all over the road. <sighs> Hi, chat. How's it going? Boy, this road is no joke. Yeah, if we're on a bus, we'll have to... Actually, I, th I think driving a bus in this game is much easier than driving a car. It is cool when cars pass by, though. It sounds realistic. Nice. dangerous not to have the acceleration that you need in order to go around a roundabout. Yeah, I'm using a steering wheel. Well, if you were playing with a mount, uh, like a keyboard, oof, this game would not be fun. It's definitely a game that you need uh, a racing wheel for, or at least a controller. But I would definitely say don't do that. Uh, yep, that's right. When we get there, uh, we can fast travel then. We have to unlock it first. Well, we have to use the skill point, I think, to unlock certain places fast travel wise but actually once we get there yeah we can fast travel back so that'll that'll save some time cool little abandoned house nice Pretty large truck on this road up there. He's having a pretty good time staying on the road. Villa Roja explored. Nice. Uh, what's our Twitch? Check down below in the description. Links are down there. I wonder if this island is like a real one-to-one -one scale of what it is in real life. Like it seems like if you're doing 70 kilometers an hour on this island, it's probably not going to take you too long to like go from one uh, side of the island to the other. It's not that big. There is an international airport here, though. But I guess 
Edgar Airport, this world is international. You leave the country in like 10 seconds. Driving the bus back on this road. Now this just makes me want to take a car and like, uh, you know, like race it down these roads. This would be perfect for Forza or something. Perfect to race on this. Pagliara. Very peaceful, isn't it? You know, it's almost like driving on, on the surface of Mars. Wow. Big mountains. Ah, here we go. Some trees again. Nice. There's our Twitch link that just popped up in chat if you're interested. Finally a highway. me to get off and get back onto the highway again. Nice try. Grim Reaper, thanks for seven. Cool, there's construction that actually separates it into one lane of traffic. All right, that's cool. I was expecting the highway to go the whole way. Uh, it should be twitch.tv forward slash rat pack. Yep, whoa, 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 what? Um, okay, I guess we spun out. The car like lost grip on the roadway. Interesting. <laughs> wow, that was cool. That was awesome. This game is not to be able to drive around this whole island is just awesome. It's like if we colonized Mars. Yeah, we're just driving on the surface of Mars right now. Opened it up. This is sweet. I'm starting to hit some traffic though. Well, that was fun while it lasted, I guess. This guy would clear his ass out of the left lane. Come on, guys. Jesus. People are in the left lane, not even passing. Meanwhile, roundabout. Jeez. Come on. I should have been in the left lane, too. Ma'am, I'm just going to take you out. I'm tired of you. Thank you. There we go. This game is cool. You know, for it being a driving simulator, 
does a good job. It's just really hard to see where I'm going with the two GPSs on top of each other. Is there a way to turn off the GPS? Well, we're unlocking every... Ooh, and an electronics store. What is that for? to the bus. Dude, that was cool. I really like this game now. I think I'll be playing it a lot more. Get better at high-speed driving in this horrible truck. Dude, so for me driving this truck like this is uh, pretty amazing because it is not an easy thing to control. So I'm, I'm glad we're actually able to drive this. Where's the bus now? Can we go through these gates? Oh, I see the bus. There we go. Uh, how do we get over to the bus? Over this way? Well, there she is. Would you look at that? Alright, so real talk, this game's got a lot of fun character to it. This is like... I don't know, man. For the problems in this game, it's got things that I've never seen in any other game before. This might be one you want to check out. I like this. Thank you, everyone, for subscribing. Appreciate it. Uh, I think we got to turn it on. Actually, can I just fast travel now with the bus? Let's go back. Wow, look at that. We drove all the way down to the end of the island. That is so cool. Hi from South Dakota. Well, hello from Minnesota. All right, let's uh, go back. Drive the car into the water. I don't I don't even know if we can do that. Uh, choose fast travel location. Boom. I wanted to fast travel back so we can get back at our missions. But this game is so cool. It's got a, it's The game's got a lot of chill to it. Like, it's not just mission, mission, mission. A lot of it's just like, hey, drive down there and pick up the bus. And it's like, wow. Imagine multiplayer. Yeah. Yeah, there's some... Like, the car needs to be fixed a little bit. The bus handling is pretty good. I can tell they definitely put a lot of time into the bus. But if they want players to use the car, they should put a little bit more time into it. But this game's got this game's, this game's game's got some, some good stuff to it. I'm liking it. Right, let's get out of the bus. Pick a contract, and then we'll get started. All right. Actually, what day is it? We fast-traveled, so did it, like, turn into the next day? Oh, it's still the 16th. It's at uh, nine. What 9:35 a.m.? Wow. Let's find a contract. All right, Hilda's still on that one. I think we'll just keep going until our bus like explodes. Then we'll fi fix it up. Take the bus to the car wash. This new one shouldn't need it. Mm, let's see. Seven. Oh, there we go. Two hours and five minutes. Short trip. I'll take that one. And the new bus. I wonder if we're allowed to paint the bus. These white buses are cool, but I'd like to like have a big yellow bus or something. A big orange bus. That'd be cool. Play Fortnite on the channel? When I play Fortnite, nobody watches. So I guess if I could just go ahead and... Hey, uh, 400,000 subscribers. If you guys could just go ahead and watch me uh, in every video that I play, that'd be great. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. Yeah, that's not how it works. People just uh, will go elsewhere for whatever entertainment they want to watch. It's not a bad thing. It's just how the system works. Um, okay, activate display with Z. What? Out of service? Oh, right, 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 right. I'm thinking like we're going right away. We have to probably wait a day, don't we? Uh, well, this bus really doesn't need any repairs, so I guess we'll just skip to the day that we can uh, get started. I got ahead of myself. I got excited. By the way, this looks more like a house than it does an office. This looks like a really nice house. 
with a vending machine in it. Ooh, premium coffee. What do they got? Black coffee, coffee light, coffee latte, uh, cappuccino, coffee mocha, French vanilla, hot chocolate with milk, and hot chocolate. And I think we have another vending machine around here somewhere. If anybody's getting hungry, let's take a look. Ah, right, here we are. We got lima and orange. Select a drink. Why is that in English? Uh, bubbles, soda, orange, cola, carrot. Wonderful. I don't know what that one is. Lime, orange, soda, and co coca? Co cola? Coa? Dude, we have like 400 vending machines in this place. Like, there's not even this many vending machines. Well, actually, like that's about as many as you find in a hotel where like hundreds of people are coming through a day. Alright, um, when does this one start? 19th, okay. I think that means we have someone to sign, so now we got to wait a couple days again. Actually, a few days. Hilda had an accident. Oh, really? No? Okay. Oof, it's now 9. Or is it, what time? Oh, it's, oh, it's 5 a.m. Uh... How much do we have for money? Oof, oof. All right. Hilda, we need to bring that we need to bring that in for servicing. Oh my god. Oh wow, everything's like destroyed on it. Okay, we got to How much money do we have? 20,000. Okay, hopefully that's enough to do it. Um How do I get her to stop doing that? Hilda, we need we need to bring that in. That bus is about to collapse. Get the duct tape. All right, Hilda, I'm 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 calling you back, Hilda. How do I? Oh, all I have to do is cancel the contract, I bet. Uh, let's see. Current orders. Oh, is that the one she's on now? Oh, they're paying $2,000 for it now. Oof. Oh. Hmm. We completed a lot of orders. Nice. All right. Well, I think this one will still be here, so let's just cancel it for now. Penalty is 600. We just need a day off to do the bus repair. All right. Hopefully, the bus is back now. And. Uh oh. Did Hilda, like, jump ship with the bus? Maybe it's in here. Nope. Hmm. -mm. Well, this one I need to drive. Actually, let's... Oh, I have to drive that route, too, don't I? Before... Oh, wait. How does it work? I should be able to assign Hilda to that route. Wait. Schedule. Oh, wow. How do I... How do I put her on the thing? Hi there, E2. How's it going, man? Management of trips. Why can't I... Trip services? I can't seem to... Modify that anymore. Hmm. Vehicles. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm wrapped with a big old crazy million, million dollar streamer. That's right. Okay, I don't... Okay, apparently I'm assigned to this one. Oh, that's why, because I'm assigned to it, and I can't switch it now because it's, like, day of, so I can't just ask her to take it. But then where's my bus, Hilda? Did you run off with it? Where's where's my bus? Player vehicle, player vehicle, not in use. Then why is it not at the shop? All right, this is weird. Before I leave, I want to be able to, like, assign... This other bus for repair, but it just doesn't seem to be here. Oh, maybe there's a maybe there's like a storage. Anyway, let's schedule that other bus for repair. Give Hilda the day or a couple of days off while the mechanic works, and then we'll be good. All right, repair. Oh dear God, uh, body damage. Uh, that's gonna take repair. Will take thirty-one hours. Dear God. Your mechanic will repair the bus. Can you do more repairs too? I guess. Oh, he's. I think he's gonna do everything. Oh yeah, indicator, engine, wiper, brake lining. 
Required one available zero. Please select the parts which should be repaired. Well, you order the parts. You're the mechanic. I <sighs> Do I have to go and buy all the parts too for him to repair? What a crappy mechanic. Was he playing Fortnite? God. Alright, so now I gotta buy all the bus parts. Okay, that part's kind of dumb. Like, as, as the boss of the company, I need to leave it to whoever his name was in order to buy all the parts so he can do the repairs himself. Like, if I hire you as a mechanic, I need you, like, if I say, hey, this bus is broken down, he should be like, alright, no problem, boss, I'll, I'll get it fixed. Spare part, oh god, okay. Well, at least we don't have to order certain parts. Wait, now how do I order parts? Inventory. Vehicle workshop. How do I buy more stuff? Don't tell me we have to go into, like, do we have to go into town? Finances. Oh, I could have taken out a loan a long time ago? Oh, I feel like an idiot now. Oh, I could have gotten several buses going. Oh, wow, look at that. We got money now. Tons of money. Perfect. Employees, finances. I didn't know we could take out a loan. Well, now that changes everything. Now we can buy another second-hand vehicle. Actually, wait a minute. Can you buy parts? No. How do you buy how do you buy spare parts? It told me once, but I just don't even remember. Yeah, we'll do logging on uh, Saturday and Sunday. Contracts, orders. I don't know where uh, I can order spare parts. Here's inventory, but it tells me that I have zero, but it do maybe I have to go over to the mechanic shop? Uh, schedule. Okay, let me take some more orders now. Oh, I have to drive this one today, though. Damn, that sucks. Okay, let's make some new orders. Okay, so we have an extra bus. So let's go with this. Oh, I gotta drive the route, too? Oh, that's right. I gotta drive every route before we... Or can she take that one? Maybe that was the same one we had before. Alright, we'll give Hilda the other bus. Wait, does this mean I don't have a bus now? No, I gave her the other bus. So now we have one bus under repair. One bus parked here for me for my job today, and Hilda's got the other one. So we'll wait until the, the other bus is repaired before we uh, hire another employee, and then we can take another contract. And that should get all three buses up and running. Now, before we leave, let's make sure we... Uh, like, I don't know where we order spare parts. Seems to just be here. Components. Overview of the current components. Repair. Please select the part. Yeah, because we don't have extra parts. How do I buy parts? Wait, what is this? External repair. What does that mean? What the... Please be the... What? Oh, there's workshops in this... Oh. Well, I don't want to... I don't want to do that. The, the vehicle's already in the external workshop. What? That is so dumb. I hired a mechanic, and he's not even, like, ordering the parts. Meanwhile, it's going to take it over to some other shop. How do I order parts? Vehicles, finances, contracts, inventory. I guess I could do it all from the smartphone. Inventory. Yo, how do I buy more spare parts? I don't... I guess we literally have to go to a shop. So I think we have to find a shop and literally purchase things. You need to order the parts to come every day, like a contract or something. I think we actually have to go and buy them. Because I think there's a... If you look in the map, there's probably... Like a repair... Yep, that's exactly it. I bet we have to go to the repair shop and buy parts individually. I bet we can go there and like buy, you know, like, tw you know, just like generic things. Like buy five wind wi windshield wipers, five tires, five quarts of oil or whatever for each one of the... Uh, obviously a bus takes more than that, but makes sense. However, I hired a mechanic and I want him to do the job, not me. I shouldn't have to go and buy everything. Like I hired him to, you know, or order the stuff. Whatever it takes, just get it done. Jeez. All right, well now we have a contract to take care of. So Hilda's out driving uh, the new bus. I've got the other new bus. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, she... Wait. 
Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. We didn't even pick up the other bus. How does this work? Hold on a second. Hilda's driving... Hilda's driving one of our buses. I'm driving the other... But we didn't even pick up the other bus. Is that even not... That's not even a here until tomorrow. Vehicle collection. Then what the hell... How the hell is she already driving that vehicle? Your vehicle not in use, not delivered. Then what? when is she going to drive? External workshop. Can I cancel that? No, I don't want to do that. I want to cancel that appointment. Wow, this is really annoying. Ah, well, whatever. Uh, let's see. So I don't know how Hilda's going to do her job because she's taking this bus... That's the 82%. Isn't that my bus? But her job doesn't start until the 19th. Today is the 19th. Both jobs are the 19th. I'm confused. Let's see. Um, well, by, answer, by asking that question for the third time now, Myron, I think uh, you've already answered it for yourself as you've been in chat for the last 30 minutes asking it. I think you've already made your decision. So thanks for being here. Wow, this is this is just crazy. Okay, so now we have a job. So I hope uh, the mechanic. I hope the mechanic in this game like orders stuff, but I think. That, that's kind of annoying because as the player, that means I have to, um, that means I have to, like, run over and grab all the parts and bring it back to the mechanic. That's kind of just, that's one thing I don't want to do. Alright, so now we'll drive on another job here. So I don't know what's happening. Apparently Hilda's using the other bus... According to what it showed on the screen, she's using the other bus that's not yet delivered to do her job. So maybe she just not, maybe she's not going to actually do her, uh, so I think she's going to skip one day of that contract until it's delivered tomorrow. So I think she's skipping the job today, so I wonder if that'll make us fail it, which would be annoying, but we'll see. Holy crap, her bus is way easier to drive than the car. You're using the same bus as she does at 23? Oh, but it marked only one of the bus. One bus said it was under my control, and the other one said it was not vacant. I don't know. Let me take a look at the... Con let's take a look again. Vehicles. All right, so this is my... Your vehicle, and then this one's not delivered. Is she... Oh, yeah, that's right, because she's using that one. Oh, so she's using it at a different time? Okay. Alright, well, if that's the case, whatever. Hopefully I uh, don't use it for too long then. Holy crap, if I, like, suddenly I've impressed myself with driving. This is awesome. I like this game. This is cool. Beautiful sunset, or sunrise, in this case. Absolutely loving this game. I think we're going to come back to play this one even more because there's it's much more in-depth than I thought it was, and the fact that we can hire more employees means that when we have all three buses running, I'll hire three employees and then buy another one so I can have three employees doing round trips, and then we'll do one ourselves so we can explore new territories, and that's going to bring in a lot of money. We already took out a $400,000 loan, which means that we can at least uh, pay for uh, like a couple more buses and then any other expenses we might have spare parts and things. We may as well stock up since we'll need it. Plus, I think buying food and stuff also uh, helps the employees be more satisfied. Like, if we, if we keep our... If we run to the grocery store and stock our, uh, our refrigerator with goodies, uh, they'll be happier. And then also, we'll need to stock it with uh, repair 
I think the mechanic can only repair the uh, external damage to the bus, but specific components such as wheels and uh, like V-belts and stuff like that need to be purchased on our own, so we'll do that in the next stream. All right, folks, I'm going to go ahead and pull over here for tonight. I'm going to go ahead and save everything and wrap it up for this evening. You have all been very pleasant, so thanks for dropping by and uh, working your way through the algorithm. Appreciate that. I'm going to go ahead and save here and uh, call it a night, everybody. It's been, it's been a pleasure to play this one again. I think we're going to come back and play this one on maybe Monday. Usually I don't stream on Mondays, but I think I'm going to just chill and just play this one on Monday. Usually I haven't been streaming, but that's okay. You guys are fantastic as well, so thank you very much. Uh, for all of your support. You are all fantastic. I'm going to get out of here and grab something to eat and get ready for uh, some streams later in the week. Uh, tomorrow, I'll be playing something else. Maybe Farming Sim, but we'll see. But Saturday and Sunday, for sure, Farming Sim logging. There's a new logging map coming out, so stay tuned for Saturday and Sunday where we're going to do logging. And then uh, on uh, Monday, I think I'm going to play this again, and then tomorrow something something random. And the Men of War Assault Squad and uh, some other stuff will return on the weekend. Maybe we'll even do Call to Arms. Actually, I'd like to play some more Insurgency and some other CSGO as well. Those games involve guns and such, which you know some people aren't into first-person shooters and such. But it just came out, and it's actually a lot of fun, and I want to play with Pinto and Palm. So it should be a good time. So uh, anyway, Pinto, if you're still watching, let's play some uh, Insurgency tonight. And uh, we'll do some more stuff, I guess, in the future. You're all wonderful. Thanks for being here. Thanks for clicking and tapping that subscribe button on the way out. Leave a like, too. Let me know you like this and like to see more of it. This game has some, like, you know, there's some things that make me really frustrated. But then it brings me back in for more. And Meta War Assault Squad does the same thing. There's so much I hate about that game where it's like, God, they need to fix this. And yet we play it every night forever and ever and ever. And we just don't stop playing it. So... That's the sign of a good game. It's the same with Fortnite, right? People screech about, the shotgun is overpowered. It's not powerful enough. Etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. All right, Circle 7 salute. I'm out of here. I'm going to grab something to eat, and I'll see you all later. Pinto, if you're watching, get Palm, and we'll play ourselves some Insurgency, and we'll be back for more next time. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Circle 7 salute to you all. And if you'd like to see uh, more Insurgency and more uh, CSGO and that type of thing, maybe we'll stream it, give it a try. Make sure you tune in for that one. You all have a pleasant evening. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.